Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the ASUS RT AC53 wireless router, not to be confused with the AC53U that came out a little earlier and has a bit more features. Now this is actually one of the least expensive Wi-Fi routers that ASUS is offering, and you can find it for under 45 bucks, uh, a link is provided in the description below. And performance at this low cost is not bad at all, it can also be used as an extender or a repeater. So if you already have a primary router that's decently powerful, you can use this to extend the Wi-Fi coverage, perhaps in a second story or third story of your house or in a building. So there's quite a few uses that you can program it with. And what I like about ASUS routers in general is the software that it comes uh, included with. It gives you quite a bit of uh, programmability in terms of how you set it up. Taking a quick look at the box here, we have the Chinese version for review purposes, but it uses the same you know, wall plug as the US model. And uh, otherwise, this features both 2.4G and 5G dual bands. Again, it has three antennas uh, for an increased kind of coverage of, your, of the Wi-Fi signal strength. It supports the 802.11a, a, c, b, g, and n, so it is fully featured as far as having the latest connectivity options, and the speeds are up to 750 megabits per second, which is pretty quick for a low-cost router. The design is definitely in line with most ASUS products, using this textured kind of diamond pattern that it resembles a lot of the same design philosophy from CD players to laptops and DVD players that ASUS has come out with recently. Some basic info on the sides, there's parental controls in the software setup, again, pretty high speeds, uses a simple ethernet to connect, and some other info located on the back. Um, you can see that this model does not come with a USB socket, so you can't connect a hard drive or something um, and access content uh, and, and use it as kind of like a wireless uh, reader for that. However, all the essentials are here for a low-cost solution. So let's open up the packaging and see what we have. On top, we have just the router itself. I'm going to take a closer look at this in a second. Below, there's access to an Ethernet cable, which is pretty standard. And of course, there is the wall plug, and that's basically it. No other uh, manuals or guides are located in this particular version. Exploring the design a little further, you can see that this is an average sized router. It's not too large, it doesn't take up that much space. Here it is next to a 5 inch phone just for size comparison's sake. The very top features an array of LED lights that tells you the status of the router, whether it's connected to the internet itself, uh, whether it's using 2.4G or 5G networks, and there's the ASUS branding located on the very top with some additional info. It looks like brushed aluminum but again, it's just plastic, saves some cost for the manufacturer to bring the you know cost down a little bit. You know, at under 45 bucks and with the performance that the router claims, it is quite competitive with other offerings by Xiaomi and other low-cost routers that you find on the market with the latest AC certification. On the back, there's access to the wall plug, there's a dedicated power on-off switch, there's a reset pin, WPS uh, switch, and there's also on the side your Ethernet port and also additional cables for Ethernet that you can plug in if you want wired internet for a laptop or a desktop. And on the back, some additional info about the manufacturer, and there's just some ventilation grills to prevent it from overheating. So overall, pretty sleek and modern look, again, for a low-cost router. Let's take a closer look at the software and the performance next. So setting up for the first time, just plugging it into power, we can just find the network located on the side. We're going to tap on this, connect. And hopefully that's going to launch us into a login page by ASUS, which shows their software. Um, and you can see that this is the router.asus.com default page that it loads us to. You can see since we are using the Chinese version, the default language is in Chinese. However, there is a language bar on the top that I can tap on to switch over to English. After a few seconds, we have the ability to cycle through the various features. There's a setup wizard for easy install. If we want to set it up as a repeater, which is what I'm going to do in this instance right now, uh, you use the manual settings. So automatic settings, you just plug in the uh, Ethernet or the WAN port on the back here, and then it should detect the network and automatically connect. We're going to use the manual setting. And regardless, you have to create a password for the router. Uh, this allows you to log in to the router to change settings the next time and access your account uh, just by entering into the address bar, kind of the ASUS uh, setup, the router.asus.com, and this will prompt you for the password the next time so you can sign in. 
Step number two is connecting to the internet. Again, the router mode is set by default. I can also select the repeater mode. So you have a router already that wirelessly connects to the uh, ASUS router here, which wirelessly sends a signal uh, to another computer or tablet or phone. There's also an access point method, which uh, again changes the configuration. So for repeater mode, what you do is pressing next, the router will then search for you know, Wi-Fi signals nearby. And hopefully it can then locate the signal that I want, I can tap on it and then enter the password. So right now we want to connect to this one. So I'm just going to tap on this and of course enter the network P. I will agree to these automatic settings, pressing next. And again, the network password is the same for 2.4G and 5G. So there's a repeater for both 2.4G and 5G. There should be two repeated channels, so you can select either one when connecting to the internet the next time, which I'll show you in a moment. And uh, after a few seconds, again, the, the uh, RTAC53 is now connecting to the network. Once the bar reaches maximum, uh, we should be fully connected. So again, using the same menu, we also have other tabs uh, that allow us to go through privacy settings, parental controls, where we can block certain websites uh, for kids, for safety. Set it up as a repeater at the moment, and again, it works pretty well if you want to use it for a second or third story of a building. And you can see that if I tap on network settings, if my original network was called A142, since this has both uh, 2.4G and 5G networks, there's actually two options that pops up as a repeater. It pops up as a generic RPT, which stands for repeater. This is the slower 2.4G, and there's also a RP, uh, RPT 5G, which is the 5 gigahertz per second uh, band. So you can tap on either one and connect since, you know, you see right now we're connected. And of course, if we do a quick test right here, you can see that it's still quite swift and responsive. Um, the router, the, you know, the ASUS device here is connected to the regular home router. And uh, of course that relays information and improves the signal strength. And of, of course, Hopefully that uh, will make your setup a little bit better if you are in a larger room or a larger house. And of course, as a regular router, it also performs quite well, um, although it's recommended for, you know, smaller rooms than more powerful routers and more powerful solutions on the market since this is still meant as a budget option at the end of the day. So all in all, we are quite impressed with this uh, ASUS router. It offers some pretty good performance at a low cost. And again, you have a lot of options in the software that it comes with that you can access online and toggle between the privacy settings. And yes, although it doesn't have some of the fanciest features like a USB port, it's good for the essentials. And if all you need is high performance internet, then I think you'll be Pleased with this, especially if you have an apartment or a one-story building just to cover. Uh, it actually does a quite a good job for under 45 bucks. You can check out more details about this in our official written review, but for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the ASUS RTAC53 series 750 megabits per second Wi-Fi router.